counsel me this though, Sleepy, when Dre started exploring with the clothing and stuff like that, how much hell did he catch out of the home team when he had got away from the jerseys and the regular clothing? I'm gonna tell you like this. We on the video shoot of Skewer on the Bar. Mm-hmm. Um, we we going we shot the video down at the tabernacle and mm. we all backstage and it's the whole family all of us back there in the hallway just talking just talking and Dre in the dressing room so Dre walks out of the dressing room <laughs> <laughs> and Dre out in the white wig this is the first time we've seen it the white wig got the white arm bands he got the white shorts got the ski boots <laughs> and he walked out and everybody looked down and it just got so quiet <laughs> you can hear a pin drop but it was quiet for about three minutes my god and then he walked back in the room and everybody turned around and just started back talking like it it was just a crazy thing so rico asked him how he felt and then i said with dre you know how do you feel bro you are you like like you know you you about to show them something totally different. And yeah. he's like, man, either they with me, he said, either they gonna laugh at me, or we gonna kill this. Ooh. And by him giving that confidence and telling me that, I said, oh, you finna kill it, man. <laughs> because the thing to me, what I saw from it at first is Dre looked, I, when I first seen him, I said, I said to myself, I said, man, Dre look like George Clinton. Mm. This look like some parliament shit. Yeah. They don't look like no, you know, everybody trying to say is he on some gay shit or whatever. Yeah. No, 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 no. Dre was on funky. some funky parliament shit. Yeah. I saw it. You know what I'm saying? I never asked him about it because I ain't want to confuse him with it. I ain't want him to mm. think. I just kept my mouth shut. But to me, he it always looked like George Clinton. So I was like, okay, if he's George Clinton, I'm about to be boosting. <laughs> so I went and got them big jackets. I had got some stack boots. They got them tall. They made yeah. me buy got them seven, nine. <laughs> But I want them motherfuckers in New York City at a show, but them girls thought I was that tall for real. <laughs> Wilt the still. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I saw it, and I knew that this is about to make us Funkadelic and Parliament of the South. I knew exactly what it was when My I see him dressed like that. But I knew Big wasn't going to do it. Yeah. So Big going to keep his style and do it his way. Big has worn some outrageous stuff, but on some real pimp shit. Yeah. Truthfully. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but I knew that's what it's gonna look like. As soon as I seen his outfit, bro, I said, wow, he like George fucking Clinton. Crazy. That shit hard as hell. <laughs> I mean, actually looked like him, bro. I was like, wow, I felt like I was in a time zone. I was like, this nigga like he from the land of mothership. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> I'm with you. Organized base ah, with Kilo. 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 That was a damn good ass album. Yeah, but the Talk world just me. was not ready for that sound or that style. They were not ready. We used to get into it with Interscope so bad about Kilo because they did not understand what the hell that was. It was nobody. It was Atlanta like it. 2020. It was Atlanta. That's what I'm saying. They, but they just they did not understand him because this was before Auto Tune. Yeah. So what he was saying, it would just be everywhere. This yeah. Was, it, Nobody got it, except for Atlanta. Yeah, we loved it. We loved it, classic album. Love in Your Mouth came off of that album. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Baby, this, baby. I'm gonna tell you something so funny. When, when we did the Dungeon Family uh, thing at uh, one, one Music Fest, Yeah, and Kilo was performing, and his, his, I don't know what happened, but his sound cut off, and he was doing In Your Mouth. When I tell you all the girls, Every lady in that place sung every lyric, and everybody was just like, "What the? What the? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they love that song. They love that record. So you know, at you know with Kilo, it it's a shame because it didn't happen the way it was supposed to happen. It should really should have been. I mean, it, it's still a classic, and people still talk about. It. They still play it to this day, and. You know, Kilo himself, you know what I'm saying? I wish he was a little more focused mm. and not so, you know, headstrong on thinking we trying to, you know, do something dirty to him. Like, no, fool, like, we bought you everything you want. Anything you wanted, you got. You made other artists jealous on our label. Mm. But we looked out for you because you were a classic, legendary artist. Yep. You just didn't act the part. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? You over here just... Cussing folk out and telling Dre you want to battle him in a rap. I said, boy, if you don't sit your head down somewhere. He actually walked up to Dre. Dre, I want to battle you. 
<laughs> Get low. I'm like, boy, if you don't sit your collard green ass somewhere, not your mind, fool. But that's Kilo. Yeah. That's what made him classic. That's what made him a star. He was the most cocky son of a bitch you ever want to meet. 